Researchers at the Max Planck Institute of Chemistry in Germany have created the highest temperature superconductor humans have ever made. And they've made it using this very same chemical that makes rotten eggs smell just so lovely, hydrogen sulfide. This group discovered that if you compress hydrogen sulfide to 1.5 million atmospheric pressures and cool it below minus 70 degrees Celsius, it has zero electrical resistance and it repels external magnetic fields both properties of a superconducting material. Even more interesting is that this was achieved without using exotic materials like copper that were used in all other previous high temperature superconductors, which only managed to be superconducting up to minus 109 degrees Celsius. So this new hydrogen sulfide superconductor has surpassed those by about 30 degrees Celsius, which is a remarkable step and the way to room temperature superconductors. The theory behind how hydrogen sulfide can be superconducting is also pretty interesting. Unlike the other high temperature superconductors, the behavior of hydrogen sulfide can be explained by modifying the low temperature superconductors so that its superconductivity is generated from lattice vibrations. So this is something that's seems unique to hydrogen sulfide compared to the other um, high temperature superconductors. Some researchers predict that if you replace 7.5% of the sulfur atoms in hydrogen sulfide with phosphorus and increase the pressure to 2.5 million atmospheres, then it could be superconducting above zero degrees Celsius, getting very, very close to a room temperature superconductor. But why would we even want a room temperature superconductor? What would it be useful for? Well, the number of possibilities would pretty much be endless. Our current superconductor technology is very useful for a wide range of applications, from medicine with the magnetic resonant imaging technique, which has allowed us to discover so much about the brain, to energy production and the use of nuclear fusion. So using very, very strong magnetic fields created by superconductors to confine plasma into a very tight space to let the nuclear fusion process occur and produce enormous volumes of energy. There are other applications such as transport, magnetic levitating vehicles like maglev trains, which would reduce our energy consumption for transport quite considerably. And that's not to mention all of the other aspects that may be discovered once we have a room temperature superconductor that we can use and play with. So superconductivity is something that could very well change the world if we can find a substance which stays superconductive at room temperatures. And it may be that this new hydrogen sulfide superconductor is pointing us along a new path which may be likely to stumble across a high temperature or room temperature superconductor. So whenever you smell rotting eggs about you in the future, just remember that the same chemical that's making that lovely, lovely smell is also the very same chemical that may have unlocked the pathway to room temperature superconductors. And that's a pretty cool thing for a very smelly object. Anyway, that's it for this video. You'll find links in the description to articles on this topic. And if you liked this video, please do leave a like and thank you for watching.